good evening and welcome to Gray Barn. We're going to do a tour of the shop today to show you all the changes that have occurred in the last few months. I know I haven't done a YouTube video in a while. As you can see, we are set up for Christmas. And we're going to head on in and we're going to start with the changes right on the left as soon as you walk in. And you can see the trains are still where they are. Now the train vendor is one of the two vendors which does not offer a discount. Trains. We do not ship the trains because we're afraid of jostling. It might damage parts. The cars that don't have any extra features we can ship, but none of the locomotives or anything that has any lights or any functioning pieces like that. So here on the left we have Bushel and a Pet Collectibles. They are 20% off vendor, as is Burning Sensation Antiques. Now you might remember Burning Sensation Antiques had three booths in the back. Well, we consolidated two of them into this one spot here, which makes a lot more sense. If you were on our Facebook Live last week, you would have seen this change, but you didn't see the changes that happened in the back just as of December 1st. So we've got a lot of the changes to show you. Yes, you can shop this video. If you see anything you like and you need more information, please feel free to reach out to us. Our bio it's all in our biography at the top of the page. Our preferred way of communication is through Instagram or Facebook direct messages. You're able to send a screenshot that way and we also are alerted to it right away. Emails we do not find out until we actually come into the shop as I'm not checking those from home. You can also use Google Messenger. We do have a lady who does that and that does alert me right away. If you do want anything from this vendor and you do not have the ability to do a screenshot, please just note the timestamp and I can find that information out for you. Most of these items we are able to ship. We are zip code 07821. Just go to usps.com and put in our zip code and your zip code and play around with a few different weights and that'll let you know if it's worth it. We only charge for shipping, we don't add handling, and it's usually a little bit less than what the USPS is showing you. You can always direct message us and say how much would this, let's say like this would be, to ship to wherever your zip code is and we would get you that information for you. And we do PayPal, which I, from what I understand, my one friend was able to do a Venmo through that because she doesn't have a PayPal account. So they make it, you do not have to have a PayPal account and you can use other ways to pay directly through PayPal. Or you can call our shop during business hours and just provide your credit card uh, number over the phone. Please do not send us your credit card information. Do not text it to us. Do not email it to us. We only will take your credit card over the phone. We do not write it down and we enter it directly into our bank machine. So we do not store that information for you. So do not worry about your card getting compromised here as we do not keep your information. So 18 becomes 1440. Again, we are visiting Burning Sensation Antiques, new, bo new booth, the front of the shop, which you might remember from the last video that I might have done, this booth actually had a lot of tin signs and stuff in it. Those have moved to the stage. Like I said, so many changes. It's a pretty little shelf, clock shelf. Wow, 1760 for this beautiful wood shelf. So it's called a clock shelf, so I guess you put your clock on there. And then these amazing, this pillar, he actually makes these. So, and he can do customized sizing. So if you wanted a shelf like, you wanted different spaces on these, you need more shelves, or bless, you needed a bigger space, but if you wanted to put a ton of tinies on there, I, we've been told he can do that, so. We have this is a cute little stoneware bottle. Now, Wednesday night at 5.30 is my weekly Facebook Live. And I'll, I kind of start looking tonight for the items I want to feature. I feature items that might have just came in recently. I also look for things that are well-priced and things that I know my audience tends to enjoy purchasing and looking at. So that is our Wednesday night. That's every Wednesday night at 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. And the bulk majority of everything I pull up, I very rarely pull anything else up, is shippable. So we will pull up things that will and can be shipped to you. So a lot of this stuff that I'm showing you, all these smalls can absolutely be shipped. Lamps, not always. Ones that we can take apart, we can. That one would not be able to be disassembled. It's not that we can't ship it. It's, it's the, the, the curve on this one and the legs on that. That would put that into an oversized box, and that's when the post office gets you with the surcharges and even UPS has some parameters too that would hit a surcharge so now this gentleman in this booth burning sensation antiques you might recall is a 76 year old carpenter so all these tables that you're seeing all these shelves yes this shelf 
He made those. And he's continuing to work. These lamps, he rewires, or he can put, he can make it into oil again. A lot of these are oil lamps, which you might see featured in HBO's Gilded Age. They had acquired many of his oil lamps back when the Black, uh, Black Rose was still in Phillipsburg. So you might a lot of these lamps like this, the parlor lamps, the ballroom type lamps. He had those, and they bought a lot of those. So that's a lot of fun. I love to see when our vendors' items end up in TV shows and movies. It's a lot of fun. So again, we are in Burning Sensation Antiques, and he is a 20% off vendor. We're going to do just a quick tour. This isn't really too much shopping, but you are more than welcome to shop and just ask me to send you that information and more pictures on things. These are really cool. They're $36. They're old ice skates that appear to be from the Netherlands, one of the Netherlands countries. So, very cool. And we're going to go in the case room and I'm going to show you some other things that are burning sensation as well. We have a lot of Pyrex and other things in here, so you never know what you're going to find at the Great Barn. If you do not have a Facebook account, you're worried about security and that, you can go on there. All they need is an email and you do not have to put in any of your private information. And you don't even have to use your real name. We have a few people that use aliases and they do that so they can come and shop on the Facebook Lives and be able to purchase off there as well as enjoy the good stuff on Facebook. There's a lot of good on Facebook. So if you set it to um, private, you don't have to put your birth date in there. You don't have to put your job or your school or anything in there. You do not need those things in there to have a Facebook account. So if you ever do that, feel free to pop on our Facebook Lives. Like I said, we have one every Wednesday night at 5.30. And that is no registration required. You just say sold and which item it is. Once a month, we now do a tour and shop. We did one last Sunday. Our next one is Sunday, December 10th. Those are at 6 p.m. You guys are in the driver's seat. So you say, hey, I want to see that Eastlake ink inkwell there. So we see this is $40. And we, you know, and if you want it, you, you'd get first right. So your calligraphy pens would go across here. Whoever, so the difference is our Wednesday night one are items that I pull and you say sold and which item. During our torrent shop, if you request the information on this particular piece of Lennox, then you get first right of refusal because you asked about it. So if you ask about this Lennox plate, you know, Miss Smith asks, and then Miss Jones comes along and says, so Lennox plate. No, Miss Smith asked, so she gets first right of refusal. So that's how that one works. So a lot of fun. We saw a lot of things. You can see we've got a lot of ornaments in here, all kinds of great stuff. We have some Fall jars here, but I'm going to show you a bunch that are just $3 each, also from the same vendor. So, again, this is Burning Sensation Antiques. We are getting ready to leave his front space. Here's another wonderful oil lamp. And this case here is part of Bush Home Pet Collectibles. And again, you are taking 20% off items not marked firm. So, this is just a quick glance, like I said, at the changes and the gray barn of Andover, New Jersey. So we got a lot of cast iron, and our vendors will mark if things are new, if they know the age and everything else. So these are 20% off, so the little flying pigs would be $8. So as long as it doesn't have that word firm, you are taking 20% off. Now over here is our vendor, the Bronx Man Cave, who specializes in, but is not limited to the World's Fair. He has a lot of license plates and other collectible items, some Civil War things up on the wall, so you never know what you're going to find. And as you enter this room, you're going to see above from our vendor, the major, where the sharp things are. Because I don't want the swords where anybody can reach them. <laughs> so we will gladly assist you with that. And again, he is 20% off. We do these large tags because, as you can see, the other tags are up there. So this way you can just kind of quickly glance and see the information about any of the swords that you would like to see up there. So, and again, this little corner here is also part of the Bronx Man Cave. So... You'll see with Barnes Man Cave, he's vendor code, so he's vendor 30. So their number is always in the upper left, and then that price is three firm on the cute little beanies here. So we're going to enter this room. This wool coat just came in, $40. 100%, very good condition it is. Wow, I love that tag. Check out that tag. Oh, it's so soft. Wow, very nice. And that's $40. Doesn't have the size on it. Looks... Looks to be about a medium. It's not cut very large, short sleeves. So, all right. So, we call this one the case room because here we have our locked cases. 
So I'm going to start to pick up the pace because I don't want this video to be so long that it takes forever to load up. So here we have, we have five locked cases in this room and each shelf is a different vendor. And all the vendors in this room are at least 20% off as long as it doesn't say firm and there's a couple of 30% off vendors in this room as well. So you'll see the vendor code 16 is 20% off so you see this is her shelf. So there's that vendor code in the upper corner. So I'm surprised these little Napco figurines are still here. They're just $17.60 a pair. You can see we have a lot of black lights in here to highlight the beautiful Vaseline and uranium glass that is throughout the shop. So those right there are actually the yellow. Uh, and again, like I said, if you want any more information on any of these items, just let me know. Look at that amazing whole golden glow uh, oven casserole dish, 22 karat gold, $80 with the lid. So a lot of unique pieces. That is the plastic Santa. We got a lot of the lead figures in. Set of four for 24. Try to being pulled on the sleigh. Oh, the sleigh. Oh, that's really cool. The sleigh is 24. Santa on skis for 1920. It looks like he's got both poles there. Yep. So we got a lot of great jewelry. We also do a monthly jewelry live. I forget which Saturday that is. If you go to our Facebook, Gray Barn Antiques, that's gray with an E, onto our events tab on our Facebook page, you'll be able to find all of our upcoming Facebook live events. But like I said, we have one just for jewelry. And then we have our tour. So these are all 20% vendors I'm showing you. This is Betty's Treasures. That bookcase that I just scanned over is Vintage Crush, who has not one, but now she has two booths in the back. So, and then here we also have in the bookcases, a lot of our vendors have extra space in the bookcases. This is the hip chick who has moved back into her original spot. We'll be seeing that. She'll be getting a nice carpet in this week. So when we go back there, you'll see her booth without the carpet, but that's on the way. So this is the hip chick here. She's a 30% vendor. So we clearly mark which vendors have what sales so and she's vendor she's the hip chick but she's vendor 57 so 12 becomes just 840 so over here we have a couple more bookcases as you can see on the right we have new to you and next to her is the major and he's got a lot of the hallmark ornaments in there and she's got a great eclectic mix has a bookcase here and a shelf in one of the cases that we already looked past like i said i'm going to try to pick up the pace because i'm already 12 minutes in and i still haven't even gotten to the big room yet. So this is also the major here. He's got the military and he's 20% off as well. And another one of our lock cases, the bottom shelf is Jazzy Junk. The center is the Bronx Man Cave and he is the 30% in this case. Otherwise, the top two shelves and the bottom shelves are 20% vendors. The top here is the, the same. We have Pyrex that just came in that's still in the original box and that is $80 for the three piece set. Department 56, you got your polo players there for just 960. Jazzy Junk, 20% off. And we're gonna go to the next case and the top shelf in here is Redreamable, who has added another shelf in here. And she also has one in that corner cabinet that we went through before. So and then over here, we have Cavalier Collectibles has this bookcase and two and a half more in the back and she's also 20% off. Again, you are touring with the Gray Barn of Andover, New Jersey. Tonight, I'm just giving you a tour of the shop, but of course, you are always more than welcome to purchase any of the items that you see in this video, our past videos, or our Instagram and Facebook posts. And again, this is another one of our lock case, and each shelf's a different vendor. Now, this particular bookcase, all the vendors that are sharing this bookcase are actually all 20% off vendors, while this uh, bookcase here, our uh, locked case, these two shelves here, our vendor 56 and 57 who both happen to be 30% off. So that's Belmont Farmhouse and the Hip Chick. It just happens that their numbers are 56 and 57 and that they do that 30%. So we're going to turn to two more bookcases here. I try to do this so that I'm not Blair witching you and making you nauseous. So here we have on the end, we have the Cat's Meow. He's got a lot of great old vintage Star Wars and other items. And he is 30% off. His dad is the Bronx Man Cave. They share the same discount, but not the same sort of items. And next to him is the Belmont Farmhouse, who has this bookcase, and then a one of the shelves that I just showed you in there, as well as a booth in the back. And as you can see, she's clearly marked at the 30% off. So the discount is the same for cash or credit, credit being PayPal if you're needing the item shipped or calling over the phone. And you can see we've got a great selection of candy and snacks and I just want to show you really quickly over here is our Berg 
case. This is 18 trays, and this is a rotating case. It just goes one direction now. It's a little older, so like me, it only moves slowly in one way. So I'm going to back up. And then over here on the left is our general store, which is all the new goodies, candles, peanuts, foods, and snacks, nostalgic. We also have our costume jewelry, which is a mix of vintage and newer. And again, these are not firm prices, so eight, this is vendor code Leah, so she is a 20% off, so that becomes 640 for these beads, et cetera, et cetera, on that. And then in this booth, this is the other booth that I was saying is not discounted, so your candles, the koi, your candles are not. Uh, we'll probably do a separate video just on the general store. That light is not for sale, and I'm trying to get back into doing more YouTube for our YouTube friends. Just haven't had a chance. You can see we have the peanuts. We've got a ton of candy. We've got these fantastic music boxes that everybody loved. They're ten dollars each. They're all different uh, TV shows and movies and such. And there's our register where I've been gathering stuff that people have asked for throughout the day. So you can see we have more candy here. This display piece, piece is actually from the Cherokee Trading Post, which was in Bud Lake and is no longer there. When they closed up, Don was able to acquire this. And then we have our honey from Pennsylvania and these are all different there's flavors as well as the wildflower and those are $12 we have the we have the wonderful teas from Simpson and Vale they are based in Connecticut but they do get all their loose tea from all over the world we call this section here as you can see by the Union Jack our British invasion so I have multi people always ask me where am I finding this well let's just say some days it's an all-day project as I have many sources that I have to go through and see what's new, who has what, and, and also, of course, price shop, as you do when you go to the grocery store and stuff. I'm trying to find the best prices on these to keep our, our costs down so we can pass on those savings to you. So we have these fantastic Shella's uh, gift boxes for 20 We just got in this Highland Specialty shortbread. We have the O oh Fudge. I haven't tasted this fudge. And those are just seven from the Christmas story. And we do have the Lifesaver books in. We also have Advent calendars for just $4. So we are going to enter the big room. And I want to start showing you some of the changes. That's what we're about tonight. I'm also going to get a sip of my coffee. Because I've been talking for a bit. Oh, that's much better. And we're going to head on into Auntie's attic. And now I feel like I have to sneeze. And I don't know if it's the cinnamon sticks we got in. We got the cinnamon brooms in. And sometimes those things can bother me. I do love the smell of them, but sometimes they, they do make me sneeze. The weird thing is Altoids. If I eat an Altoids, I sneeze. So I never know what's going to make it. So you can see she's got a lot of the great blow moles, and she is 20% off. Now here's one of the big changes. You might remember that this was on second thought here. This is now picking wildflowers. And she is 40% off through the rest of the year. You can see what a beautiful job she did on this booth. If you've been watching us on Instagram and Facebook, you'll see the progress as it was made. And she is now done with that. <coughs> Excuse me. So again, this is picking wildflowers. She is 40% off through the rest of the year, which I cannot believe is almost done. Now this is, there's a couple of ceramic pieces that look like ironstone. I always get asked every time I do one of these videos or I post pictures, how much is that ironstone? It's not ironstone, it's ceramic. Still lovely, and unless you go up and pick it up, you're not going to know. So this is picking wildflowers. I'm going to try to go slowly. She does a beautiful job. She also has a YouTube channel. I forget what the name of it is, but she's got thousands and thousands of views and fat and a lot of followers already, so she does wonderful work. I will find that and put that in the comments later. So you can also follow her and see her beautiful home on YouTube. So this is Picking Wildflowers. We're going to kind of back out. So like I said, a lot of changes. This is still Auntie's Attic here, but the stuff changes. Our vendors may not change bases, but the stuff changes. So the back has changed dramatically. The last two booths here on the ends... Here, this is where Burning Sensations was. And they're now up front. This is our Reloved with Heart over here. So I'm going to just back up just so you can get a quick view of that. Also a 20% off vendor. Everybody on this side of the shop is a 20% off unless marked firm. 
with the exception of picking wildflowers, who we just saw is a 40% off vendor. Again, if you want information on any of these items, I just need you to either send me a screenshot or make sure you give me the timestamp as to when you saw it. Here's a really good price if nobody buys this tonight. This will be up on uh, Wednesday night's Facebook Live. Everybody seems to love restaurant wear. These look like chips, but they're not. They're smooth, so they probably happened in the production stage. And that's just $4. That's some bells for $12.80. This one's eight. And it's just got these great, I did a short video that you might have seen the other day regarding these cups and saucers. So I'm going to turn slowly and we're going to see booth one of Vintage Crush, which you might remember from the last video tour that I did that this was quite a, the center. You could not see through the center. Well, this is one of the vendors that has expanded and has taken on a second booth. So Vintage Crush is now also like I said, a lot of stuff happened December 1st. So a lot of these changes just happened over here now as well. So you'll recognize that Keurig cabinet as having been in the booth that I'm standing in. And she is now over here in what was one of Burning Sensation's two booths on this side of the shop. And we are going to come over here and we are going to check out one of Redreamable's booths. And again, you can shop this video, but it's it's more of a tour just so you can get a feel for all the changes that have happened. And this is a Bushel and Pet Collectibles. This is the second booth that was part of the Burning Sensation changes. So again, if you follow us on Facebook and Instagram, you'll have seen the changes in this area of the, the whole shop. I mean, we, we post quite a bit, so. And this booth is a mix of vintage and new. So they just got the red and white kitchen towels in. This is the Mr. and Mrs. Pickle towel, $10 firm for the 2024 calendar. And from what I'd heard, these had actually sold out in some of the places. We have the Santa and reindeer and the Merry Christmas Scotty dog, Merry with an IE at the end, kind of like the way the old fashioned way of spelling Scotty dog. And those are $11 each. So we've got a ton of these cute little wood ornaments they are brand new and they're just a dollar each this wall is redreamable's art wall she's the one she gives a lot of mirrors and artwork and some great stained glass these are kind of like those shrinky dink ones that one's three they're three dollars each so you can see the difference it's like that melted plastic versus the glass so this one is 640 for the plum fruit so we're going to start heading towards the back where i believe there might be some changes for you as well well of course yes the stage that's a big change and here's the here's the big brooms, cinnamon brooms, eleven dollars. Those are made in the USA, and we featured those the other day as well. So here is the stage area. A lot different from the last time we visited. And this is where all the tin signs reside now. Remember the big tin sign display that was up front is now the 10 by the larger ones are still here for ten dollars and we've got a huge assortment of these cute little smaller ones for just nine dollars and it's a mix of christmas and other stuff up here right now there's some vintage mixed in with the new on the back wall here and there's stuff up, up for sale as well and there's where the greeting cards are just one dollar made in the usa these greeting cards are and we're going to come on down the stairs now and see some of our other vendors. So the bookcase here is Lazy Q. And then these last two and a half right here are Cavalier Collectibles. And like I said, we had a, a brisk weekend of sales. So some of the vendors had not been in yet to restock. Wednesday is a big restocking day for many of our vendors. So I'm going to turn slowly. I don't know how long ago I did a tour the book nook used to be on this wall that I'm going to turn slowly to. And you can see is now on the back where the garage doors are. So here we have Thrifty Rick. He sold a lot today as well, especially the beer taps. His prices on those are amazing. And then his neighbor is Reloved with Heart, who we visited a booth with earlier. She has these two bookcases. She had a lot of Department 56. This is all that remains. And on the end is New to You, who we visited bookcase up in the front. 
So join us next Sunday night at 6 p.m. on our Facebook Grey Barn Antiques for our monthly Torrent Shop because we are going to be doing, last week it was four hours, and that is where you really, really get to shop. So I'm going to turn slowly so we can, we already looked at Cavalier Collectibles, and we're going to go to the other side of the shop now and kind of start winding this down because it's going longer than I had anticipated. Well, there's just so much to see. So we're coming up on booth one of Jazzy Junk now. Other than a lot of the items have changed out, Jazzy Junk is still in her same three booths, but we do have other changes on this side of the shop. And like I said, I will get back into doing the booth uh, tours. November was, we were so blessed. It was so exceedingly busy. All of our vendors did fantastic. The shop as a whole did very well. So we got one, two, and then this third booth here is the third booth of Jazzy Junk. So again, these are not the changes on this side, but there are two other changes that we'll be showing you. So we'll come in here and use this as our turnaround point to show you Belmont Farmhouse. It gives you an idea and scope of why, as a one-woman show, doing all the social media, why I can't get up as much stuff as I want to. That wheel sign turned. I don't know why. We'll have to fix that. So this is Belmont Farmhouse. She is 30% off. And I'm going to show you. We're going to continue right to her neighbor, which used to be picking wildflowers up until December 1st. And when we first moved in, this was the hip chick. Well, she's back in her space again. So, and like I said, she'll be getting a carpet in this week. And she is the second of the 30% booths. And now the two 30% off booths are right next to each other again. And see, she gets a lot of furniture. She has a lot more furniture coming in, as well as small, some great primitives and all kinds of bric-a-brac and a variety of different items. So, And then I'm going to back up so you can see where the hip chick moved out of. And the bushel and pet collectibles is in this other booth as well. That credenza has just sold today. That will be picked up this week. And that credenza sold for just $60. The dresser still remains at that same price of $60 as well. We're going to turn on up here. And over here is uh, booth number two for Redreamable. And again, the rest of the booths, if I, the two that I indicated were 30%. These are all 20%. So. And you might recognize if you follow us on Instagram and Facebook, many of the still shots that I took over the last couple of days and when I refer to the booth names redreamable I focused today I took a picture of this great pot hanging rack which is for sale as are all the items on it so and what I love about many of my vendors is they actually put the dimensions on things so it's 85 and you're taking the 20% off of that so $68 on that and we're going to turn nice and slow to see the what was a third booth is now the second booth of Burning Sensation Antiques. And you can see they have a lot of space now with the Great Barn. And this you have to look up and down. And this is, again, look at this. He made this island here. And this one's smaller. He's had some larger ones, you might recall, in other videos or pictures. And that is $400 firm. And that is made from the 1815 church uh, pews and old rope bed. So... Very cool. He does an amazing job. All right, and this is the second booth of Burning Sensation Antiques, which we visited when we started in the front. That's a fantastic jar there. And then here against this wall is Andover Junction, vendor code number one. She is the original vendor from when this when we were across the street, and in 2002, it was Slackyville. And now we changed to Gray Barn in 2012, and then we bought it September 1st, 2013. So we did have our 10-year anniversary this year. As you can see, Andover Junction brought in a lot of beautiful milk glass, and she is a 20% off vendor. Look at this, a hobnail ice bucket, and that is 36. So cake plate for 32, and she's got a lot of other different items as well, and some history, history books on Andover, which is fantastic. Wow, Longaburger. She used to be a Longaburger distributor. So, and that is 
Andover Junction. And as you can see, we are back to the beginning of the shop. And here we keep, we tend to have like the costume jewelry is up front. We have the hardware here. Most of it is over here. An assortment of tools, but you can see the doorknobs and such are over here and other knobs. So that is the beginning of the shop. And we will use this area here. We're gonna just turn and look at picking wildflowers again and make that the conclusion of our video. As always, thank you for joining the Gray Barn and I hope you enjoyed this tour. Good night.